Hey guys, I really wanted to make this video a long time ago, but school and life got in the way. But, you know, better late than never, right? If you follow me on Instagram, then you'll know that this year I did the art challenge Shipuary. I did this challenge a while ago back in 2022, and I wanted to do it again. I thought it'd be boring if I just did a slideshow of my drawings with no context like I did last time, so this time I'm gonna do some commentary. Also, don't judge me or my art style, some of these are not the best, but I tried. I'm not the best artist, so don't come for me. For day one, I drew a childhood favorite, Puka and Garu from Puka. I don't remember watching a lot of this show as a kid, but I remember absolutely loving it. I wish that the show told us whether or not Garo actually liked her back, but I personally think he does. If anyone actually knows whether or not Garo has feelings for her back, please let me know. Next up, we have Nagisa and Tomoya from Clanad. It wasn't until years later that I found out these two actually had a happy ending, and I've thought about rewatching this show a couple of times, but I don't know if that'll actually happen, because I don't want to be emotionally destroyed again. Next is actually a book couple, Julian and Scarlet from Caraval. These two are the best and most underrated couple in the entire series, and if you disagree, you can fight me. I wish that we had more of them, but with the upcoming novella coming out this holiday season, I am more than excited to see them again and what they've been up to since we last saw them. Day 4 is a more recent ship, Miles and Gwen from the Spider-Verse. I don't really have much to say about these two, they're just really cute. And I really hope things work out for them in the next movie. I am stressed out of my mind, and I really want them to be a thing, even if they're literally dimensions apart. Next is Kaz and Inej from Six of Crows. I love how Inej puts her foot down about Kaz's behavior and how she helps him improve and grow. And I know it's unlikely we'll see them again, but I really hope they're happy together in the books. And I'm still mad that they canceled Shadow and Bone. Next is another throwback, Howl and Sophie from Howl's Living Castle. I remember when I watched this for the first time with my sister, and they said Turniphead was actually Sophie's true love. My sister and I got so mad. But thankfully, it didn't matter anyway. I've also heard that the book is really confusing compared to the movie. Either way, I still ship it. Say what you want about Miraculous, but I am personally so happy that Marinette and Adrian are finally together. I'm really glad the show went in the direction it did, but I wish it happened a whole season ago. If they're not together in the next season, I'm gonna go ballistic. For day 8, we have Aaron and Aphma from My Street. I don't care how it happens, but these two need to be reunited, especially after everything they went through. I know My Street and the Minecraft Diaries are connected in some way, but I can't be bothered to watch the Minecraft Diaries because I frankly don't care for that one. Sorry. Eugene is probably one of the best Disney love interests they have. I really like how his and Rapunzel's relationship developed in the show. If you haven't seen Tangled the series, go watch it, it's really cute. I really wish Yona of the Dawn got more episodes, and I don't remember there being a lot of romance moments between her and Hawk, but whatever. I still ship it. I've also never read the manga, so if anyone wants to be a whistleblower and tell me if they get together in the manga, please tell me, I need to be happy. Aside from the whole kidnapping thing, Hades and Persephone is the best couple in Greek mythology. While I like most interpretations of them, I drew the Lore Olympus versions because I thought they'd be the most recognizable. Also, I still can't believe that the series is ending. I'm really excited to see how it wraps up. Next is Beast Boy and Raven from Teen Titans. I'm like 70% sure they're not canon in the show, but they are in other stuff. They're the definition of grumpy and sunshine, and I wish they had more moments together in the show. Another more recent ship is Zats and Maya from Maya and the Three. As you can see, I got lazy with Zats's armor, so I just drew them in more modern clothes. I wish they had more moments together in the show, but they get to dance together forever and ever. I'm sorry, I had to. For Valentine's Day, I drew my favorite ship of all time, Manolo and Maria from Book of Life. You already know how much I love this movie, so I won't gush too hard this time. They are literally soulmates, and I can't get enough of them. I haven't seen Ever After High in forever, but I always preferred Dexter to be with Raven. I don't know if they're canon, but as of writing, I'm too lazy to check, so again, if somebody knows if they got together or not, let me know. 
Going back to Greek mythology, I really like the rare portrayal of Aphrodite and Hephaestus having a healthy relationship, and the few examples of this is God School on YouTube. If you haven't already, you have to go and watch that show. It's really interesting and the art style is really, really cute. Seriously, go support them. I'm, I'm like 90% sure the animation is done by like one person. Day 17 is a couple who I'm pretty sure is much lesser known, Livy and Nike from The World is Still Beautiful. And again, if you have not seen this, go watch it, it's very underrated. I'm really surprised at how sweet they were as a couple, I honestly did not know what I was expecting with them. But yeah, it pleasantly surprised me. Another anime couple is Natsu and Lucy from Fairy Tale. Again, I haven't seen this show in years, but I remember shipping the absolute crap out of them. I shipped a lot of characters in this show, but these two were high on the list. Next is Aja and Steve from Tales of Arcadia. I love how much they developed Steve's character, and him and Aja are super cute together. They just accept each other's quirks, and you should find a relationship like that. Going back to childhood is Phineas and Isabella from Phineas and Ferb. Looking back on how oblivious Phineas was about her crush was absolutely painful. It's great that they get together in the future though. I'm pretty sure there were rumors of the show getting a few more seasons, but I haven't heard much of it, so if anyone wants to update me on that, go ahead. Day 21 is Ember and Wade from Elemental. Honestly, I relate to Wade more than I'd like to admit, and I heard that there's gonna be a sequel. If so, yay! The part where Wade evaporates still wrecks me. Next is Morticia and Gomez Adams from The Adams Family. What can I say about these two? Nothing. That's what. They're literally perfect. I mean, what, what else is there to say about them? Nothing. I know Mariano and Dolores barely got any screen time together, but that doesn't take away how cute they are. Again, I've heard there's gonna be an Encanto series, but I haven't heard much about it. A lot of rumored new stuff in this video, huh? Another grumpy and sunshine couple is Zayn and Kawaii-chan from My Street. I'm gonna flex and say that I shipped them since before they actually kissed. So who's the ultimate shipper now, Kawaii-chan? Back to anime is Yor and Lloyd from Spy X Family. I know this show is kinda lenient on the romance so far, but of course we're gonna ship them. I'm just crossing my fingers that if and when the truth comes out, it's not gonna break them up. Day 26 is Thomas O'Malley and Duchess from Aristocats. I don't think enough people talk about these two. The way Thomas is with the kittens is so sweet and natural. Also, Thomas is better than the tramp. There, I said it. Next is Naveen and Tiana from Princess and the Frog. My sister asked me to draw them as frogs, and I think I did a decent job. I wouldn't say they're my all-time favorite Disney couple, but even I can't deny how sweet they are. Day 28 is Hello Kitty and Dear Daniel. Okay, this is kind of a weird one. I got into a Sanrio fix last summer, and when I found out Hello Kitty had a boyfriend, I was obsessed. So please don't judge me. And finally, we have Mickey and Minnie Mouse. I think they're the oldest couple in this challenge, and for good reason. They're the OG. They're inseparable, they're unstoppable, they're classic. What, what else can I say? And that's the end of my Shipuary 2024. I don't know if I'll do this challenge again in the future, but if I do, let me know if you'd be interested in seeing a video on that. So I hope you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and follow my Instagram. And with that, I'll be in the fandom zone. Bye!